Hi, hello and welcome to this video. My name of course is Chris Cole and today what I want to do in this video is basically run you through tips and tricks as to you know basically how you can properly upload your video into YouTube to get the best results, to get the best traction, to get the most views, uh, to increase you know your subscriber base, to to basically get a, a you know a really really good um, impact when you upload your videos and get them ranked within YouTube. Now, of course, uh, I am opening up this particular slide where I'm talking about the multiple layers and multiple things that you need to do. I've broken this video down into three stages. The pre-upload, obviously the upload stage, and then post-upload. There are other things that you can do, but if you follow my tips and tricks within this video, write them down, uh, and then follow them every time you upload your video into YouTube, then hopefully you should be fit to gain a bit of traction and allow this to, you know, to build in your channel as well. That's one of the things that I want to say to you. You're going to need to build a quality channel. It takes time. Yes, you can get results overnight. However, you're better off having the long-term view with your channel. Now, as I said, there's multiple layers. There's many different things that you need to do. And if you get a bit confused... You don't know what you need to do in order to get your video ranked and gain in those all important views. As I said, follow along with this checklist uh, and then that way you've got a good system to try and sort of speak out above or beyond the noise. Now, pre-upload stage. First and foremost, before you even start to record your video, what you need to do is identify a good keyword that you wish to be ranked for. There's no point you, you know, kind of throwing spaghetti at the wall. It, yes, you will rank for certain videos, but at the same time, if you set out with the strategy, you set out with the right keyword, then obviously you can focus in on that keyword. You'll see here point number two. I've said when you record your video, mention and actually properly mentioning your keywords uh, in the early portion of the video. The reason I, I recommend you do that First and foremost, the viewers that are watching it, they, they get to understand that's exactly what they're uh, looking for within their video. And then obviously they're going to stay watching your video. Secondly, YouTube itself will um, do the auto captions. And if you do it correctly and properly pronounce your keyword at the start of the video, well then that's going to be one of the very early captions in, you know, in the caption side. So YouTube's sort of automated system then knows what your video's about and starts to show and display your video for those given keywords. Also, record it in as high a definition as you possibly can. High definition, 1920 by 1080 if you can. Uh, record it that way because there are some people like myself with good internet connections and I really do enjoy finding a video that has got good quality and I have the option of watching it in a higher definition. Before you upload the video, what you want to do is rename your video file to your target keyword. So it could be my target keyword .mp4 uh, and then what you do is rename that file rather than today's date or whatever the, the sort of generic output is, save the video file with your keyword name before you upload it. Also, if you can do this both on Mac and also PC, you can right click on your videos and generally you can go into the metadata or uh, on the Mac, I, I think it's more info is what you click. In there, you can add tags and you can add a title. You can add keywords, you can add all sorts of keyword rich content within there. If you put that into the video and save it at this stage, this is even before you upload this. This can be viewed by um, you know the processors whenever you upload it into YouTube. It just gives you that extra hidden boost that you might need. Also what you want to do is create a custom thumbnail image that is eye-catching. Now, the reason why I say it's eye-catching is what you want to do is you want to basically get somebody's attention. That thumbnail image then, uh, once you've got their attention, draws the click or draws the viewer in to watching your video. If you take the time and create a nice custom thumbnail image, then it, it 
first impressions, people realise this guy or this girl or this person has created a good image. Uh, it, it, it looks like it's going to be a quality video. Then they'll click in and then they'll start to watch the video as well. Hopefully by then you've captured them and they're going to stay and view your video. The second reason why I recommend you create a custom thumbnail is that you can save your thumbnail as your keyword. So when you upload it into YouTube, you have keyword.jpg or jpeg or png. But basically you have another option for uploading with a keyword. So that's getting everything all ready. Then obviously you have to record the video. Uh, always remember as well, this is a bit of an, an additional tip that I haven't got here. When you're recording a video at this early stage, remember to ask people to subscribe and like or you know comment on the video. Uh, let them know that you're a real person and, you know, you have to actually ask people to do so. So on that note, if you're watching this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please give me a like. Please give me a subscription. Uh, follow along with me in the channel for great videos and further videos like this. Now, stage two, the upload stage. This is important as well. What we want to do is we want to, you'll see I've got quite a few, but I'm trying to just make the bullet points a wee bit more interesting. First and foremost, I want you to upload the video as unlisted initially. You are going to change this. But what you want to do is give yourself some time to uh, tweak and update all of your settings. Once you've done this, then you need to remember and go back and set your video as public so that the public can find it within the search engines. Uh, if we're going uh, to, to the... Uh, Video information, what you need to do is ensure your video title is enticing or intriguing. It needs to include the keyword, but it also needs to be something that captivates uh, or captures people's interest. They're going to want to click in. So make it intriguing, make it enticing, get them to click into your video to watch it. When you're in your, your video description as well, you also want to create or add your, your external link within the second line of your description. The reason being is YouTube, def, uh, they basically condense your description to the first few lines, and then you have the see more link where you have to click that to expand. If you put your external links any further down, then uh, people, they're kind of lazy. They may not click that see more, whereas if the link within, within the second line, it normally is visible. They can click it without having to do anything further. And then they can go to your destination website or your blog to read more about or to find out more about what you've got. And again, at this point in the video, I will tell you, I will have a link in the description below this video on YouTube. Feel free to click the link, come across, because there's going to be a blog post associated with this particular video. And also there's going to be more than likely a downloadable PDF checklist that you can download, follow along that has all of this included within it. So click that link below uh, and come across to Chris Cole Academy and check that out as well. Now, add in your tags. Uh, what I recommend you do is add them in order of importance. There's no guarantees that it's 100% right that you know, you're going to get more weight to one tag or the other, but it's just a good thing to do. Most important tag first, moving on to the tail end. As with your description, you'll see I've got a good keyword rich but not stuffed written description. What I'm saying here is have good content. Paste it in there. Naturally mention your keywords and other associated things around it. Uh, it's, it's just for information. People do go and read that. I've seen me going to read that as well. Uh, if you're creating lists, what you can also do is you can publish the list in below. Uh, as a matter of fact, what I will do, just now I mentioned it in this video, is on YouTube, within the, if, if you click the see more, you will actually see that I have the list put down below in bullet format. Also, you need to upload your custom thumbnail. I've already talked about custom thumbnails, but get it uploaded at that stage, uh, and then obviously get that set as well. Otherwise, if you don't, what happens is YouTube basically auto-generates a thumbnail and they're not really good at all. So, also talked about uh, tags and I'm talking, if you look here, I've got an add unique tag to all videos. The reason why I suggest that you add a unique tag 
is then every time that your video loads, it triggers this unique tag. Every one of your other videos on your channel that also contain this tag may, there's no guarantees, but may start to appear within the sidebar. And then this means that people come to find one of your videos, they look in the sidebar, there's several other of your videos starting to appear. You start to get more views, you start to get more traction. You get what I'm saying with the unique tag. Likewise, what you can do is you can go and search using the unique tag and hopefully your videos will come up and then that way you can quickly navigate in and out of your videos. Within the description, I recommend you add timestamps, especially where your video is quite long. What I will do, of course, in the description of this video is I will add a timestamp taking you to roughly about now within the video. Uh, what you can do is you can see how I've done that. Uh, it's a clickable link and it should jump you in time to this point within the video. Also, once your video is up, uploaded, add it to a custom playlist. It's great. Create those keyword rich playlists. Uh, if it's a series of videos, add the series of videos into the playlist. And of course, it always helps because people find maybe one video that goes to the playlist, then they find further videos. And that's exactly what you want to keep people doing. Now, whilst you're uploading, uh, if you look, you'll see you have various tabs that you have options. One of them is the advanced settings. Go in there. Have a look around. A lot of people don't go in there. Add today's dates within the advanced settings. Choose your best category over in your advanced settings. Set your location. Also set it to your language. Go into the advanced settings. Tweak those to best suit you to get you know the best option. Look at the best category for your video, um, you know, and just set all of that information on the upload stage. Now, post upload, you've got the video uploaded into YouTube. There's certain things that you need to do. You'll see here we're animating in uh, with various things that I recommend you do. First and foremost, go and watch your full video yourself. Then like your video, then comment on your video. Grab your video URL, that's the address up on the address bar, and go to one of the ping services. I recommend Pingomatic. Go there and ping that URL. Basically, what it does is it goes out to all the search engines and says there's a new uh, video on this URL, and it gets it gets basically SEO benefit. Very little, but there's a bit of SEO benefit. Also, if you look uh, at your video below, you have an option. There's a share option. Click that link and you'll see that there's various platforms and various places that YouTube actually give you to go and share the video. What I recommend you do is use those links. Go and use those share links and get your video out onto other platforms. That way then, you know, the, the YouTube basically love it because you're putting their videos out onto other platforms as well. Likewise, Twitter and Facebook, you can have this set up. You can even set up Twitter within your YouTube channel so that every time you post a video, it pings out to Twitter and it lets them know, lets your Twitter sort of stream or your tweet feeds or whatever you call it, uh, bring everything back to YouTube again. Also look at setting up end screens. You can add cards within your videos. A new one, and it's a great one, is go and create a public post. A public post. You can have uh, a bit like a mini blog going on within YouTube. Uh, create a public post, and then you can add content in there. You can add links in there. You can then go over and like that public post. It's another wee tip that I can give you. Also, any Facebook pages and groups that either you manage or you're involved in or, or, or are also involved or interested within, you know, your target area, your target niche, go and share your videos over there. Embed your video onto, firstly, your own blog and any other places that you can. What you can also do is you can go and look and view and then edit, if needed, the closed captions. This is text-based content as to what you say. YouTube generally does an auto-generate of these tags and they may not always be perfect. I, for one, know that uh, the auto-generated tags struggle or, the, or the, the, the computer or the processor struggles with my accent. And sometimes I do need to go and edit the captions just to ensure that the tags 
uh, you know, do pick up my, the keywords that I want to go after. They do, you know, they do talk about the keywords uh, so that they're in the tags as well. You see here, I've also got Google Properties. What I recommend you do is look at as many different Google Properties as you can and add your content there. At the end of the day, Google owns YouTube, owns obviously you know the Google search engine, but there's various other platforms. And if you're leveraging those other platforms, those other areas, it's content for Google, it's links coming back to one of Google's properties. They do give a bit of favor there. So leverage whatever Google properties you can, blog about it, you know, use Blogger, you know, look at all the different platforms and, you know, get your content out across all of the Google properties where possible. And then finally, as and when the comments start to come in, uh, and I do recommend, you, as you've seen earlier, comment yourself. Like and reply to all comments, except the abusive ones. Just delete those. People just generally can do that. But you will get fantastic comments. And again, if you've got a comment, I'm asking you to go and drop it. Drop it below the video. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'd love to interact with you because I am a real person. Uh, you know, you will get a reply from me and I love to get, you know, discussion going, a better community going. So, as I said, feel free to drop a comment and let me know your thoughts on the video below or the video. So, final final slide. If you want more information like this, uh, my name, of course, is Chris Cole. Come across to chriscoleacademy.com. Uh, the link, again, is in the description. Click there. It will take you straight to this blog post related to this. And also, please subscribe to the channel to get further updates on youtube.com. I'm feeling that, of course. I wish you a great day. I hope you found this video helpful. And, of course, I'll speak to you across in the next video.